guys. Hope you're doing well. First of all, big congratulations on clearing a CA final. It is very difficult to get this prefix CA and we all know this after this journey. However, it takes a complete circle only when we get off a letter from our dream companies. So today we are going to cover ICI placement procedure, the basic confusion and cures that surrounds around it. We are going to clear all of that with some few questions. And we have David Pinto, who is our manager in ITC Infotech in the Corporate Finance Division and Rahil Shah, who is a man, uh, management consultant at Ascensure. So uh, David, I have a question. Uh, what is the overall, the overall placement procedure? Like, can you just brief us through it so that we don't have confusion, like since you've actually experienced it and you've gotten placed through ICI campus placement? Oh, sure, I'd love to do that. Thank you. Uh, so basically with campus placement, we'd start off by logging into cmib.icai.org, which is the website for the campus placement procedure. You can find the link in the description of the video. Uh, two very important documents that we, we need to read as a student before any campus placement will be the campus placement brochure and frequently asked questions on the campus placement for students. After that, we register with our roll numbers and the registration number, which is basically your WRO and your SRO. Then you go ahead and start filling up the campus placement form, which acts as a sort of resume with all your details for the companies who are going to select you. And that is what they use to shortlist you for an interview. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, David. Rahil, uh, like I have a question. Like if uh, So if we get selected, shortlisted for a company, do we get called directly for the interview or do we have the GD rounds or the test rounds? How is it about? Okay. So um, after you do the steps, which David just mentioned, like after you submit your profile details, uh, after a few days, you'll receive a short uh, list of companies which have shortlisted you. Uh, it will be available on the portal itself. And besides those, besides that list, you will find everything related to the job role that they have offered you. So the job description, the details, the CTC details, uh, work location, etc. So over here, is there anything like if we get selected or shortlisted for more than one company? Is there any clash of the schedules that we have uh, in terms of our GD rounds or the test rounds? Is there anything like that? Okay. So um, after the company uh, shortlist you, you are supposed to select only four out of uh, them. So you can select a maximum of four companies. And regarding those four companies, the uh, interviews, GD, et cetera, the scheduling is taken care by ICI itself. So you did not worry about a clash of timings. Yeah, thank you so much for that clarity. So how is it like, uh, David, like do we have uh, the, uh, the GD rounds or the test rounds on the campus placement there or it is scheduled before? Like how do we, so that we prepare a little beforehand for these as well? So Shreya, what actually happens is company-wise, the procedures differ. Uh, some have their GDs before campus uh, days and some have it on. Generally, the written test tends to happen before. Mm -hmm. uh, one really important thing that I from experience like to tell every person or every student who's going for campus placement is that each round matters. You can lose out on an opportunity just because you don't take, you know, say a small psychometric test or a written test seriously, which has as much value as any of the other rounds you're going to, including your technical round. So this is really one where you wouldn't want to lose out on that opportunity. We are saying so even the psychometric tests and all the ones which are non-technical tests, even they have uh, some weightage in our overall selection criteria, right? Oh, absolutely. I completely mean that. I definitely feel that each test is important. Okay, great. I think that was very helpful. Um, given that we have covered a fair view like a of the procedure, so if we get selected and we get offer letter, is there any deadline or any uh, number of hours as a limit, like number of days to accept the offer letter? How do we go up, go about it? Okay, so um, if you get selected by a company during the campus interviews, mm -hmm. uh, you will be receiving an offer letter uh, declaration sorts of on the portal itself. Okay. And so the uh, timeline which you are allowed to think about it, accept it differs from company to company. So let's say there might be companies which might uh, offer you time up till next day morning up to 8 a.m. or something like that. And then there are certain companies which will tell you that, you know, you need to accept the offer immediately or within an hour or something like that. So it differs from company to company. There's no blanket rule. It, it, it is totally no, company no specific. We just have to go with what the situation is and act on it. 
yeah so there is no blanket rule as such but there is one thing if you accept the offer from one company then you are not eligible to be a part of uh, interviews for other companies on the campus itself so if we get selected or if we accept the offer which if you accept the offer if you okay. reject the offer then uh, obviously you can take part in other interviews as well okay that is fair enough okay. I think thank you. Like that is like pretty illustrative answers covering our personal experiences and the facts. So, what are the few pointers which you will suggest, uh, like to anyone who's going to watch this video? Uh, given that if you thought that if you would have known this fact before, like when you were applying, it would have helped you. We'll start with you, David. First. Uh, well, and, I would say from my experience, one really important thing is the group discussion. We need to really prep for it as a CA because unlike MBA students, we're not used to going on group discussions and having them day in, day out. Another thing would be uh, from a company point of view, whichever organization you're interviewing for, do Google search, read the annual report, get a little data, understand who their leaders are. Because if you don't know the name of the company's CEO when you're interviewing them, you could end up in a very embarrassing situation where you miss out a basic yeah. question. And that's really not some place where you want to be. So I think these two are quite basic but important things that you need to be ready for. You know? Yeah, I think what makes sense. About the GDs that you were talking, yes, agree. I think we as uh, CA students don't get any platform as such apart from those 15 days MCS and the OT training, which is not right. very sufficient to make us train like the way they are in the MBA, like, like, in, like literally a two-year program yeah. where they're just doing this day in and day out. Discussion so, yeah, day in, day out, think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we can provide, uh, like, we've even given the link in the description box, everyone, for Mentorverse. Like, we have GDs, even we'll be there in the GDs. So, it would be a great experience to experience those GDs. Yeah. GDs. Okay, thank you so much, David. We'll, I hope everybody keeps that in mind. <laughs> what about you, Rahim? Yeah, so I'm going to say points which are even more basic than what David mentioned. I will suggest just be on time for the interview. Uh, you don't want the uh, interviewer or the recruitment people waiting there in the Zoom meeting for you. And, you know, just looking, having to look at a blank screen while the time, time is getting wasted. So definitely be on time, dress formally. And ensure that since you get an opportunity to select only four companies, so ensure that you go through the job roles and job descriptions very well and select what suits you. You don't want to regret that decision later. So, yeah, that would be it. Very simple, but very important. Be on time and dress formally. I think this is the first impression. Like, we yeah. take these things so lightly. And I think this is, uh, like, in the last few times, it must have not been relevant given it was on online. But now it will all turn into offline over the period. That's hoping for the best. But yeah, like punctuality, your presentation, even these are the few things that we don't discuss as CA students, but then this is definitely very important. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, this has been really helpful. Anybody who needs help in their interviews, their GDs, or any of their CVs and LinkedIn, we have provided Mentorverse link in the description box. You can check out all the sessions that is there. They are very helpful, and that's the feedback over here. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you, Shreya.